Uh, you know, Chris, obviously, I think the emotional engagement of the team kind of grabbed hold of itself during the course of the game with Philadelphia. Just a thought process on getting on the road and building a little off of what you guys had as that game were on against the Flyers and trying to get your game going and rounded. Early in the season, I always liked starting on the road just because you get to play and at home you're always thinking you got to perform, you got to put on a good show. And when you're on the road, it's just about going out and playing on the ice and not worrying about anything else. Um, now, last game, I thought we did a pretty good job of having that emotion and, you know, there's some adversity, a lot of it self-inflicted adversity, but, um, you know, we stuck with it and um, we did a lot of good things and I liked how we persevered through the adversity, which there was some and, um, yeah, hopefully we built some more momentum. Based on morning skate today, it appears as though you'll continue playing uh, Leon and Connor together. Just, uh, I th you know, is that... You know, how much thought goes into that, knowing that if you've got those two different options playing center, it gives the you know the op opposition some different looks as well, as opposed to loading them up in the same line. Yeah, we've changed up the lines quite a bit through the start of the season, and it's something I don't like doing. And there's times that you want to match up, whether it's or change up lines where it's your team's not playing very well, or line matchups, home away, whatever it's. The opposition is trying to do what you want to do, um, but we've done enough, and we're just trying to build off that victory from last night. And you know, early in the game, it's not looking well. We all obviously know what our team looks like with um, Connor and Leon centering their own lines. So it's it's something that's going to go back and forth, and um, it's a long season, and we're just trying to find out what's best for this team this year. What are you looking for, uh, Calvin Picker tonight? Um, obviously, the first game wasn't. Um, his best, but um, we know that he's always responded and had an outstanding season last year and um, just come and play in this game because, um, you know, we've got a lot of confidence in him. He's a good goalie. Um, Ryan Nugent Hopkins used the word resilient to describe this group's identity, and there's been a lot of talk about you know, this year's identity compared to last year's identity. And when you think about the word resilience with this group, in what ways do you see that on full display? Well, it's something that's built up over a course of time. And last year, you look at the adversity we were through, you know, one, the start of this team had. Um, but, you know, throughout the year, there's always stuff that happens, bad calls, bad luck, whatever it is. And, um, you know, by the playoffs times, so you could see how mature and resilient we were because things that maybe would rattle other teams um, weren't didn't rattle us. And, you know, we've got a different team this year. But the majority of the guys, the, the leadership, the older guys, are pretty much all intact. So it's something that's beneficial for us um, moving forward because I think it's important to know that no matter what happens, we can handle it and we'll um, play through it. Whether it is the leadership or that core group, how do you make sure that that level of resilience keeps up to the standard that you you know expect to, to see from this group? Uh, just, you know, it's conversations with the with the team, whether it's with individuals so on, um, you know, handling situations better or, you know, with the team on. But, um, you know, it's something you have to stay on top. Just because you are good at something one day doesn't mean it's going to continue if you ignore it. And, you know, same with our power play breakout or our defensive zone coverage. You know, it might look good one or two weeks and then it can start to slide. And it's something, so many factors in the hockey game. And, that you just always have to revisit. It's, um, yeah, you're always striving to get better. And once you are good at something, you move on to the next thing. And, um, you know, the sports psychology is part of it too. Um, whether it's an example from last year and just the season as a whole or these first four games and the adversity that you guys have been through, is there a certain level of calm that the coach has when you know that your team can handle that adversity and they can respond in good ways? Well, as a coach, you always got to balance on, you know, how hard you push the players and how much you want them to work through things. And, um, you know, obviously it's not the start that we ex anticipated and uh, hoped for, but um, it is a long season and we feel that, you know, to play this game you need emotion, you need passion, you need to – and. Um, you know, I loved what I saw from our team against Philadelphia. There was a lot of that. And when we have that, we'll come out on top most times.
Chris, a win like that can really galvanize a group. Have you kind of noticed any, um, you know, up, uptick from your team just in their mannerisms or anything like that? On well, anytime you have success, whether it's with a win or it's just scoring a goal, it just gives guys confidence. And, um, you know, it can sometimes give guys too much confidence and they um, <clears throat> just become a little more passive, um, overconfident. But uh, I think right now what this team needed was a win and score some goals and um, handle some adversity. So I think that's a, a good sign for our team. With Nashville looking for their first win as well, are you expecting a, a lively um, opposition tonight? A very hungry team. You know, they're a, a team that um, had a pretty successful season last year and added with some really good players. And I think they're just you know, trying to find their identity. Because anytime you add players, it changes things. And, um, you know, obviously it's not the start they anticipated, but uh, they'll figure it out. And hopefully we can, they don't figure it out for at least one more game. <laughs>